Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is video number eight, where I'm continuing to show my entire DVD collection of over 4,000 titles. Uh, there is a playlist on my channel as well, if you wanna follow along that way. Um, leave me any comments as well, if there's any particular movies you want me to talk about later on. Um, so yeah, let's get on with this. Benicio Del Toro and Tommy Lee Jones in William Friedkin's Hunted. Uh, no cover on this one. This is one I got from Best Buy, but it's Willem Dafoe in The Hunter. And then this is an Iranian film. This is The Hunter. Gerard Butler and Gary Oldman in Hunter Killer. Robert Mitchum and Robert Wagner in a wartime movie, The Hunters. Oliver Reed, Gene Hackman and Candice Bergen in The Hunting Party. Great Woody Allen movie this, Husbands and Wives. And a classic, Betty Davis and Olivia de Havilland in Hush, Hush, Sweet Charlotte. Paul Newman as Fast Eddie Nelson in The Hustler. And hey, here's a steelbook. This is Will Smith in I Am Legend. Tilda Swinton in I Am Love, directed by Luca Guadagnino. Aha! A bit of TV here with Alan Partridge. And then we've got various people portraying Bob Dylan in I'm Not There. What's Timothy Chalamet going to be like in his new film for James Mangold, I wonder? Really enjoyed this one a lot. Great performance from Rosamund Pike and Peter Dinklage. This is I Care A Lot. Shelley Winters and Jack Palance in I Died A Thousand Times. Classic movie from Powell and Pressburger, I Know Where I'm Going, with Wendy Hiller and Roger Livesey. And B.B. Anderson in a movie about psychiatric treatment. This is I Never Promised You a Rose Garden. A movie that was recently brought out by Imprint on a Gene Hackman box set, but this is I Never Sang for Your Father. And directed by Rainer Werner Fassbinder, this is I Only Want You to Love Me. Czech film from director Jiri Menzel, this is I Served the King of England. And great performance from Margot Robbie in I, Tonya, as Tonya Harding. Early film from Robert Zemeckis and produced by Steven Spielberg. This is Nancy Allen in I Want to Hold Your Hand. An Oscar-winning performance from Susan Hayward in I Want to Live. Really like this movie. This is directed by John Frankenheimer and stars Gregory Peck. An unusual role for him. And Tuesday Weld, I Walk the Line. Fantastic film this. Um, I've talked on my channel before about the films of director John Gilliman. This is a really, really interesting one. I was Monty's double. We've got Emmy Clifton James here um, playing his actual self in this film, uh, which is about causing distraction for the Germans by uh, using a double for General Montgomery during the war. Really, really good film. Uh, John Mills in this as well. Lynn Holly Johnson and Robbie Benson in the skating drama Ice Castles. And classic wartime film from J. Lee Thompson. This is Ice Cold in Alex. Futuristic swashbuckling in The Ice Pirates with Robert Urich. And Ang Lee's The Ice Storm. A bit of TV this, but uh, a mini-series with Patrick Swayze and Patrick Bergen in Frederick Forsyth's Icon. Frederick Forsyth also wrote The Day of the Jackal. Spanish film from Fernanda Valadez. This is Identifying Features. And John Cusack and Ray Liotta in Identity. Sandra D and Bobby Darin in If a Man Answers. A charming film this from director Mike Radford. This is Il Postino. Uh, shame that the star Massimo Troisi uh, died a few years after this. Another Powell and Pressburger film. This is Ill Met by Moonlight with Dirk Bogart. Gary Oldman in Immortal Beloved. Italian thriller from Gabriele Salvatore's, uh, who also did Mediterraneo. Uh, this is I'm Not Scared. And Oliver Platt and Stanley Tucci in The Imposters. This is a TV episode directed by Takashi Miyake for the Masters of Horror series, but it didn't get screened because it was uh, seen as being too disturbing. This is Imprint. Fantastic script and direction from Martin McDonough. Uh, this is In Bruges with great performances from Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson and Rafe Fiennes. 
and classic adaptation of Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Really, really good film, this. Bruce Willis and Emily Lloyd in In Country, directed by Norman Jewison. And a dramatic biography of Richard Burton, In From the Cold. Sandra Bullock and Chris O'Donnell in Richard Attenborough's In Love and War. And then a different film, this. This is James Woods in In Love and War, about a presidential candidate being held prisoner of war in Vietnam. Tom Berenger in In Praise of Older Women. And Hayley Mills in Disney's In Search of the Castaways. Oscar-winning film In the Bedroom, with a great performance from Tom Wilkinson and Sissy Spacek. And then from writer-director Neil Laboot, uh, this is In the Company of Men. Directed by Jane Campion and with Meg Ryan and Mark Ruffalo. This is In the Cut. And then a musical with Judy Garland and Van Johnson in the good old summertime. Uh, The Moby Dick story told via Ron Howard in In the Heart of the Sea. Uh, From director Francois Ozon, this is In the House. Uh, From director Wolfgang Peterson, this is uh, Clint Eastwood and John Malkovich in In the Line of Fire. The first time we saw Clint Eastwood cry in a movie. Daniel Day-Lewis in director Jim Sheridan's In the Name of the Father. And Justin Timberlake in... In Time, the first film shot on digital by cinematographer Roger Deakins. Uh, From the British TV series, this is the movie of The Inbetweeners. And its sequel, The Inbetweeners 2. Christopher Nolan's Inception. And the original TV film of The Incredible Hulk with Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrino. Another double bill here of Incredible Hulk TV movies, The Incredible Hulk Returns and The Incredible Hulk On Trial. Lily Tomlin in The Incredible Shrinking Woman. Disney Pixar's The Incredibles. And directed by Sean Penn, this is David Morse in The Indian Runner. An ensemble cast that includes Elizabeth Perkins and Alan Alder. This is Indian Summer. And Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, This is a gift-wrapped edition, which is still unopened, although obviously they've put the slipcover on the outside, and so spoiling the surprise. Catherine Deneuve in Indochine. And the original Infernal Affairs that was subsequently remade by Martin Scorsese as The Departed. Infernal Affairs 2. And Infernal Affairs 3. Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. And Paul Thomas Anderson's Inherent Vice with Joaquin Phoenix. Peter Fork, Alan Arkin in the 1970s movie The In Laws. I just reviewed this one the other day. This is Ty West's The Innkeepers. Tom Selleck is an innocent man. Great Coen Brothers movie. Uh, This is Oscar Isaac in Inside Lewin Davis. Classic movie this from Michael Mann with great performances from Russell Crowe and Al Pacino, The Insider. Uh, Insidious 1, 2 and 3. The first two directed by James Wan and the third one directed by Leigh Wunnell. Intermission directed by John Crowley. And directed by Mike Figgis, this is a neat little 90s thriller with Richard Gere and Andy Garcia, Internal Affairs. Woody Allen drama, Interiors. And Neil Jordan's Interview with a Vampire from the novel by Anne Rice, starring Tom Cruise. Oscar-winning documentary, Into the Arms of Strangers. And a Western anthology, this is Into the Badlands. Uh, This is reasonably okay. This is a a grisly thriller into the grisly maze. And Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer in John Landis's Into the Night. Love this movie, directed by Sean Penn, Into the Wild. And Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi in Intruder. Karen Black in Toby Hooper's remake of Invaders from Mars. 
A neat little sci-fi series this, uh, written by Jed Mercurio. Uh, this is Invasion Earth, starring Fred Ward. Philip Kaufman's fantastic remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers with Donald Sutherland. Liv Tyler and Joaquin Phoenix in Inventing the Abbots. Uh, this is a Spanish edition of the great Michael Caine uh, film The Ipcris File, directed by Sidney J. Fury. And directed by Yasuzo Masamura, this is Irizumi. Jack Lemmon, Shelley McLean in Irma La Douce. And the sadly departed Louis Gossett Jr. in Sidney J. Fury's Iron Eagle 2. Terrific animated feature, this one, The Iron Giant. Director John Ford's 50th film, and it was still only 1924 when he made it, uh, The Iron Horse. Iron Man. A superb martial arts movie, this, Iron Monkey, with some incredible acrobatics uh, involving fights on uh, poles on this one. Really superb stuff. From director Gaspar No, this is Irreversible, with Vincent Cassell and Monica Bellucci. And Michael Caine in director John Crowley's Is Anybody There? Michael Bay movie The Island with Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. And Harry Belafonte, James Mason, Dorothy Dandridge, Joan Collins as well in Island in the Sun. A great but violent thriller this one directed by Kim Ji-Woon. This is I Saw the Devil. And Tim Curry in the TV adaptation of Stephen King's It as well as the more recent film. Terrific film this uh, from director Robert Hamer that really paved the way for um, British uh, soaps such as EastEnders. This is It Always Rains on Sunday. And Elvis Presley in It Happened at the World's Fair. This is the one where Kurt Russell as just a young kid in this one gives Elvis a kick in the shins. Doris Day and Jack Lemmon in the quite charming It Happened to Jane. A multi-cast in Stanley Kramer's It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Gene Kelly and Sid Charisse in the musical It's Always Fair Weather. And Mel Streep, Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin in It's Complicated. Clark Gable and Sophia Loren in It Started in Naples. The cover art is better than the film It Waits. Michael Caine in the classic The Italian Job. Stephen Waddington and Kieran Hines in Ivanhoe. And Leonardo DiCaprio has J. Edgar Hoover in Clint Eastwood's J. Edgar. Terry Gilliam's Jabberwocky, which you can also get via Criterion. And Robin Williams in Jack. Tom Cruise in Jack Reacher. Yes, yeah, stop going on about his height. And the very inferior sequel, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Bruce Willis, Richard Gere in The Jackal. And Adrian Brody and Kira Knightley in The Jacket. Great performance from Natalie Portman in Pablo Lorraine's Jackie. And Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown. Some great action in Jackie Chan's First Strike. And Tim Robbins as a Vietnam vet having nightmares in Adrian Lyne's Jacob's Ladder. Classic Elvis movie, Jailhouse Rock. And Robin Williams in Jacob the Liar. James Franco as James Dean, directed by Mark Rydell. And a series of documentaries here in a tribute to James Dean. One of the documentaries is directed by Robert Altman. There's a fantastic movie that's just called Jane, which you can watch on Disney and Hulu, I think. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Jane Goodall um, and one of her documentaries. Some classic Ray Harryhausen at work in Jason and the Argonauts, directed by Don Chaffee. And what more needs to be said about Steven Spielberg's Jaws? Michael Caine pays off his mortgage with Jaws the Revenge. And Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, directed by Kevin Smith. Surprisingly good this, Jean-Claude Van Damme in JCVD. And both Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, directed by Victor Selva. 
Jennifer's Body, which really has become a cult classic, directed by Karen Kusama and starring Megan Fox. Didn't really like it first time I watched it, but I will be coming back to it. And a really good Western this, uh, directed by Sidney Pollack. This is Robert Redford in Jeremiah Johnson. A really good TV movie this with Dorian Hayward, starring as Jesse Owens, the Jesse Owens story. OK, I'll leave it there. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of those movies or any movies you want to hear more about later on when I finish doing this series. Please join me again for the next episode. I hope to see you. OK, all the best. Bye bye.